To understand the most simple form of nystagmus, we're just going to do a thought experiment. Let's imagine that we just lose this ear. Okay? We lose this vestibulum. It is now silent. Now, under normal circumstances, what we know is that the horizontal canals are going to have a resting discharge where this would be the resting discharge, and then if we were to rotate, let's say, to this side, what we would see is uh, increased discharge here and decreased discharge here. All right. But really what the nervous system is doing is it's not measuring how often this fires, it's just comparing these two. And so when we, when we have this, what we get from this, from, from losing the labyrinth on one side, is we get activity on the intact side and nothing, zip, on the, on the damaged side, on the affected side. And what does the, what does the nervous system read that as? The nervous system reads it as not different from this, which would mean that you're rotating the head to the right. Okay? So that's what the nervous system thinks is going on. You're rotating the head to the right. So what, is it, what does the nervous system do? It makes a VOR to the left. But as, it VO, as you do this VOR to the left, you come to the end of the orbit. You can't turn your eye anymore. And so what happens is that you saccade back. You make a saccade back to the other side. OK, so now you're back over here. You're back looking over here. And now you still have this uneven input, so you still think that you're rotating to the right. So you make a VOR again to the left. And that's followed by a saccade, and so on and so forth. So what does that look like? That is, um, that's a nystagmus. And so here what we're looking at is eye position. In this case, we've le lost the, it's the same case as here. We've lost the left labyrinth. We think we're rotating to the right. So we make a VOR towards the left side. We come to the end of the orbit and saccade back to the right. A VOR to the left, a saccade back to the right. And this just continues on and on and on, and that is nystagmus. Now, let us, let us just uh, understand a couple things. The first is that the, in this case, the pathological event is the, is the VOR. That shouldn't be happening. Um, but the easiest thing to see is the saccade. It's easier to see. It's easier to see the fast movement than the slow movement. So we call this a right beating nystagmus, a right beating nystagmus. Now what we're going to do is we're going to understand how we can test the vestibular system using uh, what's called caloric stimulation. So in caloric stimulation, a person is, is laying on their back and here's the horizontal canal is now vertical. And you put uh, fluid into the ear canal. And you either put in cold fluid or warm fluid. Let's imagine that you put in warm fluid. It creates endolymph movement that rises up. And that is going to be in the direction of, of, of the hair cells. The hair cells are oriented towards the utriculus. So now, the, the endolymph is going to rise up in this situation. And so what's going to happen in this situation is that you are going to elicit a VOR, a VOR to the opposite side followed by a saccade, VOR to the opposite side followed by a saccade. And this will be a nystagmus that beats to the contralateral side or the ipsilateral side, OK? It beats to the ipsilateral side. So it's a same side beating nystagmus with warm water. In contrast, if we put in cold water, now the, the endolymph is going to tend to move down. That's going to move in the anti-preferred direction. And you're going to get 
uh, uh, an inhibition on this side, which is going to produce a VOR in this direction, a saccade in that direction. So with cold water, you have an opposite side nystagmus. Opposite side nystagmus. And this gives rise to, in my opinion, the best mnemonic in, uh, in, in neurobiology, which is uh, cold, opposite, warm, same, cows. And this is uh, the way to understand how caloric testing uh, works. And caloric testing is a very valuable way to test the peripheral vestibular function. If the vestibular apparatus is working, then you will get these responses. You will get these, this cold opposite nystagmus, warm same side nystagmus, ipsilateral st beating nystagmus. Um, and uh, and it, it's, it's more reliable than just having somebody do this where they can really rely on, on visual feedback as well. So cows is a very valuable um, test for uh, vestibular function. It tells you uh, a little bit about what parts of the nervous system may be uh, damaged and what parts are, are intact. So if, if, but to understand that, one has to understand whether the peripheral vestibular apparatus is working or not, okay? And that's where caloric testing is invaluable. All right, in the next section, we're, we're gonna, or in the next video, we're gonna look at changing the VOR. How do we modulate the VOR? <laughs>